I over the break, I know I was supposed to be making a wireless charger. That's been going kind of slow because I've been waiting for parts. But in the meantime, one of my friends gave me an idea to make an LED panel, right? Just full of these addressable RGB LEDs. And I actually made it. So right now it's just cycling through the rainbow. But I did make an app for it so that you can control it, each individual color, with your phone. And it's super cool. It's connected through Bluetooth. Um, however, the app is only uh, for Android. And that's because Apple, uh, because they're so exclusive and, and um, they're worried about privacy and all that stuff and trying to be at the cutting edge, I guess. Um, you can only use BLE, which is Bluetooth 4.0, which is, um, I don't know how to use it. It's complicated to set up. I can't figure out how to use it. And uh, Xcode, the thing you make apps on for Apple, is in, written Swift, and nothing else uses Swift. And I have to learn that language. That's going to take time. But after I do that, it will be on Apple as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to cut to a video and show you how I made this thing. All right, what's up? Um, I put a little cloth over it, um, and I'm recording it with my computer so that I'm able to show you the app. So this is the app, the Bluetooth panel, change your walls color though. Yeah, and this is the, um, the hexadecimal uh, RGB color. There's a color slider and then a rainbow button. Right now I have the rainbow function happening right now. And if I change the color, you should be able to see it. I put a little sheet over it. I didn't have it before. I have a sheet now because the, I guess you would call it the bloom of it, just like saturated the camera so that you couldn't even see the color. You would just see a white spot. So I put my uh, pillowcase over it so that um, I can diffuse the color so you can actually pick up in the camera. So yeah, uh, this is the hue slider, the big one around. We have the brightness. And then we also have saturation. So yeah. And the cool thing about this rainbow function, if you click it once, I clicked it twice, it didn't work the first time. But if you click it and it registers, you get the rainbow. But if you hold it down and let go, it allows you to keep the gradient. So um, I, I was trying to think of a cool way to add in gradients. How would you put in a gradient? So you have the rainbow and you're able to pause that rainbow. And then that gives you a bunch of different gradients you can choose from. So yeah, this is it. Uh, this is my rainbow panel thing. The app is not on the App Store, not on the Google Play Store. It's only on this phone. So yeah, but this is what I've been working on instead of that wireless charger. Okay, so I, so I turned off the lights just by unplugging the power. And as you can see, this is just a bunch of those, you know, LED strips that you can buy, they're addressable, RGB. Uh, I was gonna get the RGBW, which allows you to get it brighter, like you can get green and then mix white into it so it becomes a really bright white green instead of supplementing in blue and red and kind of messing up the color a little bit. But I just got uh, RGB addressable. Right here it's 144, but um, the total amount that I bought was 150, so if this is a square, this is 12 by 12. So you got a 12 by 12 RGB panel, each addressable, and I can change every single LED how I want. And it's all driven by this thing right here, this board right here. Um, the data pin is the middle one, so we follow this, it goes up. I have a piece of tape here so they don't actually intersect. Um, this goes up, goes all the way up comes back down. So I have this for every single one and you have to make sure to get these these arrows pointing in the same direction because that's where the data is going. Right? Um, and that's because they're addressable. So the top one is positive and what I did for this is got copper wire and strung it along these uh, pads right here and to make sure that it doesn't hit um, uh, data in or ground for this 12 volts I put a piece of tape over it as well so that there's no way it can actually intersect with it. And I did the same thing for uh, ground up there. Um, I had a problem with this LED right here. It's a little brown. That's actually um, flux. It's not anything nasty. It's flux, which is this crystal sap stuff. 
and it, it's used for soldering or whatever. But this LED wasn't working and because this one wasn't working, all of these weren't working. Uh, blue in particular was not working. So cycle through all the colors. Green works, red works, but blue just wouldn't work. So what I had to do was go in and then take this one out and replace it with um, one of the other LEDs I had. And that was actually quite challenging. And this resin, this uh, this flux right here kind of messes up the aesthetic look, but what are you going to do? So all this is driven by an AT Mega uh, 328P-PU, which is just uh, Arduino uh, Uno, right? It's just miniaturized. It's got the, ti uh, the timing stuff, the crystal. This is the Bluetooth. This is the HC-05. I think it's Bluetooth 2.0. This is a um, a power uh, regulator. It turns the 12 volts coming in through that and turns it into 6 volts so you can power both of these. And um, uh, But these LEDs actually use 12 volts. So I had to use a MOSFET so that it can turn on and off these LEDs using the 6 volts right here. So we have a MOSFET and it's able to take this 12 volts and then turn it on and off using the 6 volts or so coming out of this. And yeah, that's the project. I think it looks super cool. Um, I was going to put a case over it, but this, you know, real um, bare bones, real techie look kind of looks cool. So I left it like this, all exposed and everything. So yeah, this is my RGB panel. Uh, and yeah.